everybody. Welcome back to Yazi Family Vlogs and Cooking. You're today, so weird. today we'll be making Frito pies. Is it Frito pies? Yeah. My... Okay. We'll be making. Should I put a tape on it? <laughs> I think we're making Frito. I just lost my. Yeah, it's Frito pie. I just lost my train of thought now. So, hey, check out this apron again. Got us both in the kitchen. Thank you, Kai's creation. Yes, thank you. We love him. Almost slept with mine last night. Couldn't wait to get off work and put this apron on. I love it. Thank you. So, back to the video now. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are today. We are gonna make um, Frito pie. We're gonna make our own chili to go with the beans. Chili, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was all prepared for this until she <laughs> messed me up. Oh. Well, we're gonna make Frito pie. Both of us are gonna be in the kitchen. You guys look up here. They don't advertise me, so I'm not promoting that. So we're gonna make Frito pie. We're both gonna be in the kitchen. Um, our basic ingredients. Well, we threw out the bag. We it's a. We have um. How many? What was the size of the bag? One pound, right? Kidney beans. Yeah. It's a sixteen ounce, one pound of red kidney beans. So. We got that. Uh, Sue cleaned it, washed it, sanitized it, and it's in the Instapot now. So. I have it on for 30 minutes. So yeah, so with the Instapot, we're gonna have um, <clears throat> cooked beans in 30 minutes instead of six hours, nice and slow. But in the Instapot, it's just water, plain water. Um, I'm gonna make red chili it's the same red chili you guys seen in our previous video with the uh, fry bread and pork meat so i'm not going to show you that one it's going to have beans and ground beef <clears throat> that one's going to have beans and ground beef and i'm also going to be topping it with sliced olives this is a 2.25 ounce can usually there's someone that asks us what size and i'll be using dice tomatoes so I'll be using that. Um, I also got a bag of shredded cheese. I'm gonna be using that. Um, Fritos, we're using Fritos, regular corn Fritos. Frito corn chips. Frito corn chips. And what's the secret ingredient? <laughs> <laughs> it's green onions. <laughs> secret ingredient is green onions and sour cream. So, uh, usually I display all my seasonings or, you know, what we're cooking. But, you know, since this is really, really simple, it's just this one, this one, green onions. We'll show you the bag of cheese out of the fridge. We'll show you the onion, how it looks. So, we're going to do the beans for 30 minutes in the Instapot. And I'm not going to use the broth from there. I'm going to just drain it out and use the beans only because I'm going to be adding red chili and ground beef. And that's it. We'll show you guys. We'll come back to you guys in 30 minutes. Hi. <laughs> There's the red chili. Okay, now I got my can of tomatoes. Diced tomato. I made the red chili. I didn't. I didn't put it on camera though. Uh, Normally, I would season my meat, but only thing that's in here is just the tomatoes. I didn't season the um, 
the ground beef because everything is all in this red chili. There's a uh, black pepper in there. There's garlic in there. There's um, salt. There's oregano and the, of course the New Mexico red chili pods and then there's a chicken bouillon chicken bouillon that's all in there so all the seasonings and the red sauce and then this one here is just plain ground beef and diced tomatoes so that one's done as you see over there she unhooked the button I don't know what that is. <laughs> Releasing the pressure. Releasing the pressure. Don't touch it. It's hot. You can bring your hand. Um, to be honest, I never use it. Only if she does. So that's why there's two of us cooking. You don't know what's going on over here. I don't know what's going on. Technology these days. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a professional bee maker. So. She's got that, the steam is releasing, and then after that's done, I'm gonna drain it. And I'm gonna put it into this good looking red chili. Oh, this sauce right here. This one that I made is gonna be a little more thicker. I forgot to mention that to you guys. So, when I put all that in the blender, I did the um, chili pods, the black pepper, the garlic, minced garlic. I did uh, the onion powder. I did the chicken bouillon, Mexican oregano, and then I put um, two tablespoons of cornstarch in there. This one. I put two tablespoons of that one in the blender with uh, fresh water, which was about three cups. Blend it on high for like four minutes. And then while that was blending, I put a stick of butter into the pot and I let that butter melt. And then I strained it and I put the red chili sauce in there. So it's gonna come out a little bit thicker, as you guys can see. It sticks to the spoon. So this one's gonna be a little more thicker. And then after that, we'll show you guys when we transfer everything over. I'm turning this one off now. So this one's coming off. Santa's here at the door, so. Go check, he probably has your big gift. My, my new air fryer. But we'll come back in a couple more minutes. Okay. We're back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. So, got the red chili here. These are the um, instant beans, they call it. No, these are the red kidney beans. Um, <clears throat> normally take a whole day to cook if you have it on the stove or in a slow cooker well with the magic of an instant pot <clears throat> these were done in 35 minutes did you say yeah yeah 35 minutes mm. perfect So now, like I said, I'm just taking out the beans. I'm not gonna use the broth or anything. Cause everything is gonna be flavored with that chili right there. This was a 16 ounce bag. You could use pinto beans if you want, but black beans. Well, kidney beans go really well with chili. That's what I made in my chili bean video too. Okay. 
got a extra guest in the apartment tonight, so my biggest friend's gonna sleep over. These guys are gonna have leftovers tomorrow morning. Simmer for about another 15 20 minutes. Let everything blend, all the flavors. And that's chili. So, are you going to turn this down? Low heat. Just let it do its thing. Don't touch it for 15, 20 minutes, and we'll come back and we'll plate it and we'll show you guys how it looks. And we'll have a taste tester. Hey guys, there's the finished product. We got the Frito cheese on the bottom, the red chili right on top, shredded cheese, sour cream, olives, green onions, and she's gonna eat it. Looks good. If I can get everything on this. Mm. Wow, this is really good. I wish you guys can try this. There you have it, guys. Again, thank you for watching us. Thank you for seeing our Frito Pie. And we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've got more videos to come. And thank you again. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys try this out. It's really good, delicious. Has a lot of flavor. I'm hungry now just looking at it. So we'll see you guys on the next video and thank you guys and keep looking out for our Vlogmas. Thanks and for watching. Future cooking videos. And you guys all have a good night. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys. Bye.